Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, we're gonna do our final deliberations with the coffee nut samples. Um, pick our favorites for buying. Um, and then I'll share what's the process about it. And um, I really wanted to get something unique and exotic. Um, depending on how much it is, da da da, uh, we may go through with that. So, so a recap for you would be, um, I was really unsure of roasting 100 gram samples on my roaster, which is a um, thousand grams, right? So we're roasting at 10% capacity. And I was like, is that even possible? Turned out it was, which was great. And it was a great experience. Um, and then we cupped them and it was a massive cupping session for myself. I've never done that before. And writing everything down in this nifty little notebook that my sister got me. Pretty cool too, like uh, she actually got it at Target, I think. Um, but what's nice is like, it gives you these sort of like check boxes, brew date, roast date, who's a roaster, producer, coffee, origin name, notes, and things like this. You can even start and score it for your own. And um, how you think you would serve it. And so it just gives you a little bit more help in terms of um, vocabulary and words to what you're tasting, which if you're new at cupping or if you're new at trying to pull flavors that are more um, pronounced or you know uh, things like that, this is a cool tool and it's back to back. And it was super helpful for me to write down 10 samples. So I was like one, to, and I tried to do it blind, so I covered, um, I covered what they were on the actual samples. As, that way I wouldn't get biased in my cupping, you know? I mean, so I tried to cover that and not, you know, have any expectations going into the cupping and just taste the coffee for what it was, which was super interesting because the Gesha that was in here um, in the samples, I was like, ooh, is that gonna be all crazy? Um, I didn't really go too much further than that. Um, the roaster myself could have been at fault in terms of not being able to develop it correctly, but it's a sample roast. So, and I only had one shot at it. So it's not like it's gonna be the most accurate representation of what that, that coffee or any of these coffees would actually taste like. But you're just looking to see, is there any weirdness going on? Like I roasted all of these samples relatively the same. So I think that's a great basis for me to make decisions on. You know, the naturals roasted about a minute faster, washed, roast, roasted just like you would think a, a typical washed coffee would, except all the, um, the starting temperatures were just, a li were just lower. That's all. Wow, oh, they're so fluffy, the, the grounds this time after being allowed to rest. Yeah, I mean, I get it now. <sighs> okay, so because of the way I roasted it, maybe a little too hot, um, it is bright. It's still bright. It's not, it's not really lemon. It's more like a roasted lemon. but it lacks depth and yeah, it just could have been my roasting. Um, it lacks, when I say lacks, it doesn't mean that it's bad, you know, but I think my taste preference is going for something that's more um, full bodied. It's still a great coffee. But uh, in terms of me wanting to buy it, right, um, Gesha will always be a little bit out of my reach in terms of uh, price range for now anyways. So um, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna call this a solid four star one because I can't, I'm not able to roast it the way it should be perhaps, you know. Um, the Gash is definitely better than this one, number two. Number two, right? Yeah, you know what? The Katura Wash, just with this cupping now, has moved off the table in terms of being a favorite. Still a good coffee. Um, so, it's a three now for me. 
and the Gesha certainly has improved for my taste. Mmm. <laughs> what is this one? I'm going to be sort of, you know, I was thinking about how I was cupping and just editing all my videos and such. And <laughs> you are supposed to cup, you know, with little to no emotion, little to no distraction, same time of day. Again, cupping is supposed to be um, only trying to judge the coffee on the coffee alone, right? But as I'm making these videos and I'm, I'm doing my thing, I don't feel I need to be shackled to the confines of what it's supposed to be. I like with everything that I do, I'm going to develop my own style. So um, you guys can, you know, do as I say, not as I do, but I like to be sort of emotive. I'm going to be more emotive in how I'm going to cup and that could uh, sway me in terms of how I'm thinking about coffees. But um, it's kind of boring if I don't <laughs> really emote for you. Um, and what's kind of the point of recording it, right? So I feel like these vlogs, they're evolving and how I'm thinking about putting out the content that I make. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, that was number, uh, the San Bernardo Tolima Natural by Javier Rubio. Um, citrus fruit, full bodied, smooth finish, savory, it's kind of spicy, stone fruit, dry finish, lovely, lovely again. Still love this one a lot. That's a four star for me. Number nine is a five star through and through. I love that one. Um, what makes for me a four and a five star in my little, <laughs> my little just like off the cuff grading here. Um, if we think about taste on a scale and you have acidic and sweet, right? I feel like uh, number nine, which is that 200 hours has the most, if we, you know, um, for lack of a better term, dynamic range of flavor and taste of acidic and sweet for me, right? Taste is a very subjective thing for me. And so the difference between, say, something like that, a five star in my book, or a four star, is just the dynamic range shrinks just a bit on that scale, okay? So that's how I'm going to be, you know, I'm developing my own style of tasting and whatever and, and rating co uh, coffees that come through my palate. Um, the sort of like, ooh, 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 like that in terms of um, taste for me, right? And flavor profile for me. Okay, so fun, last one. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I felt instantly that I was transported into some Greek restaurant eating Mediterranean food. The sort of zing of like a feta cheese and then like a grape tomato and then the saltiness of an olive and then maybe like an anchovy, like all of that just jumped into my brain when I cupped this. Mmm. Yeah. Like, Kalamata olives are just jumping out at me. Not this sort of zing tardiness, but like zing, that's a good word. Zing, that's this. That's this one. What's this one? Number nine? That was six. Getting dyslexic over here. Okay. <laughs> Now it makes sense. All right, number nine, through and through. I got that zing, right? Zing. I like a Mediterranean, just sort of like Kalamata olive, grape tomato, anchovy, feta cheese, boom, 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 boom. Lots of layers, lots of layers of uh, like a really just beautiful meal in my, in my palate. Okay, six, this was six. That's that um, extended fermentation. That's what EF2 stands for, confirmed with coffee net from Quindido Variedad, Colombia. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but whatever. Um, like a medium bodied, bold complex there, that tangerine, yes, yes. Um, that's still a five for me. Um, seven, cool. Yep, number nine. 
Okay, six. Okay, round two. Gesha. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if that's supposed to be the best, Gesha, then I fucked it up, sorry. Don't like that one. Katura washed is off the table. <laughs> mm. Number six, Quindito uh, elongated fermentation, Veridad, Colombia, very good. <laughs> mm. Which one was this one? Seven, San Bernardo. That one, yeah, that one smells fantastic. So from aroma to cupping, very good. Mmm, <laughs> the best, number nine, yeah. The zing, the zing, the zing is the, is, it's that there's this extra layer of juicy fruitiness that isn't present in the rest. And that's the zing. That's the zing. That's the zing. Number nine is the winner. Again, 200 hours of fermentation, Castillo Natural from the Quindito region by Felipe Arcilla from Coffee Net. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Okay, second favorite would be my other five star, which was number six. And then this was number seven, which was a four. It was still good. The smell was fantastic, though. The best smelling one, San Bernardo. The best aroma. Dry, right? Dry smell. Not wet. That's fragrance. Uh, San Bernardo. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Coffee Net, thank you. Thank you for being so helpful. Thank you for being so gracious. Um, with your feedback to me in uh, WhatsApp and being nice. <laughs> Not saying, you fucked up my geisha. <laughs> Maybe next time. I didn't. That is so interesting that I didn't really like any of the washed coffees. And that too could also be my fault, right? <laughs> but the fact that I had such great tasting uh, naturals that I've never tasted before. And I, I don't want to rag on myself too much because I did, I feel like I did do a really good job with the naturals. Now... Is that because I got better at roasting samples? Possibly, possibly, you know. But uh, yeah, that was so fun, that was so interesting. Now I have all these samples and I'm not drinking any caffeine right now. So, it looks like I can send these off to maybe some of my subscribers or something like that. Um, maybe you pay for shipping because I paid for your shipping on your samples, man, and that shit was expensive. So maybe we can do like a giveaway or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, or I should just keep them and blend them and see what kind of weird thing we come up with. I have no idea. Or it'd be cool to just keep. Um, I'm gonna keep all my favorites, but I have all the other ones that I didn't really uh, like, and it's still a great cup of coffee. It's not like they're bad. None of these coffees are bad, okay? So don't take this whole experience to be like, this is good, that's bad. No, it's just these are the ones I prefer in terms of my personal taste and palate, okay? Um, and that I, that I found at this current time, based upon the roasting skill that I have to be the most pleasant for me. So fun, so fun. Thank you so much for watching, supporting Black City Coffee, okay? <laughs> that was fun. All right. See you next time on another Black City Coffee vlog. Peace out.